G'day YouTube, I finally received my Flywoo Explorer LR4 after over two months of waiting. One of the things that slowed down that delivery was the fact that they had a shortage of CADEX Vistas. And so you had the option to change your order to one without the CADEX Vista and get a discount, which I chose to do. And mine arrived still a bit long after that, but it arrived sooner than it would have otherwise. But what I found was that there was no decent instructions inside the box on how to solder up the flight controller to the CADEX Vista, nor were such instructions on the product page as they often are. I eventually found a video of how to do it on their Facebook page, but not all of us use Facebook and I certainly had a huge break from it and I have literally zero friends on there. I only join groups now just so I can get some information through it. Um, so this video is going to be me taking you through those instructions and also providing uh, some excerpts from the video that I saw on Facebook and hopefully that won't lead to a copyright strike because Flywoo would want this information um, disseminated anyway. So what you'll find once you've taken off the top plate of your Flywoo Explorer LR4 is two bundles of wire connected to two plugs. One of them will be a four pin plug with four wires in it, and it will say Vista Kit OSD. And the second one will be a six pin plug, but with only five wires in it, that will say Vista Kit PNF. You actually want to start with the Vista Kit OSD bundle of wires, and you want to solder them to your CADEX Vista as follows. The red wire goes to voltage, the black wire goes to ground, the yellow wire goes to the RX on the CADEX Vista, it's the TX on the flight controller, so it goes to the RX on the CADEX Vista, and the white wire goes from the RX on the flight controller to the TX on the CADEX Vista. Next, you'll take the bundle of wires with the tag that says Vista Kit PNF around it, and you now have one of three options, depending on whether you want to use the DJI remote controller, an SBUS receiver, or a TBS receiver. Now I wanted to use the DJI remote controller, and so all I had to do was solder the blue wire to the SBUS pad on the CADEX Vista, and that's all there was to it. So for option two, you need to connect the voltage, the ground, and the SBUS which is the red, the black, and the blue wires. And for option three, which is using a TBS receiver, you need to connect the red, black, yellow, and white wires, which are voltage, ground, RX, and TX. And that's all you should have to do. Just one more bit of info. If you've just received your Explorer, you probably want to flash the flight controller with the Betaflight 4.1.1 firmware because there seems to be some bugs in later versions which cause uh, problems with the OSD. So go ahead and do that and then uh, copy and paste a diff into the CLI of Betaflight that you can find on the product page. I've also linked that below. And now, Enjoy the video that Flywoo put out for people on their Facebook group.